What's up guys, today I've finally received my Alpha RT kit from Jet Blaster. And despite the box being a little beaten up on arrival, everything inside is fine thanks to the foam padding. Back in March, I had an early look at the Alpha RT in its pre-production form and tested it in my Cedar. Rather than making the same video again, I want to see if it can be adapted to fit inside the worker prophecy shell, despite it not being designed for that blaster. At the end, I'll do a crony test and give my recommendation on whether it's worth buying the Alpha RT for blasters other than the Cedar it was designed for. Let's get the prophecy open up and see if it's even compatible. For those curious about what I'm removing from the Prophecy for this test, it's a brass sleeper breech made for me by Spenceworks. You can check out my video on that in the card above. After removing the brass barrel, let's mention this metal sled. I won't be using it today, even though I have it. I want to make sure the Alpha RT kit's stock sled can handle the Worker 25N spring. These grubs for the pump grip will simply push into the sides of the Alpha RT sled, just like they do with a metal sled. Now let's install the Alpha RT dart gate. Uh oh, it won't push in. There's some excess plastic on the Prophecy shell that has to be removed. Removing it shouldn't prevent you from stepping back to other internals kits, and while I do own a Dremel, I realise not everyone does. So I'm just going to use a pair of pliers to remove the plastic. You'll need to do the same on the other half of the shell before you can put it back together. For my barrel today, I'm using one that I made myself. The threaded part is from a Jet Blaster Omni kit, and I've used 8 inches of 1730 seconds brass inside of that, glued into it for a perfect air seal. Why not use the stock Alpha RT barrel? Well, it's very short and it's designed for Jet's 10 kilo spring. We're going to be using Worker's 25N, which is equivalent to a 14 kilo spring, so a longer barrel has some benefits. I'm adding Teflon tape for a better air seal as I screw the barrel into this plastic piece. After clicking the barrel into the dart gate, it's ready to attach to the shell using the same screws from the previous dart gate. Now I'm removing the worker metal trigger and installing the Alpha RT trigger. However, I found out after putting the shell back together that it's too short to reach the catch in a Prophecy shell. So I had to use the worker trigger in the end. This is one of the design differences of the Cedar compared to a stock Retaliator or Prophecy. You'll see that I'm sticking with the worker expanded plunger tube. That's because the shell is already modified to fit that. If you buy a Prophecy from Monkey Mods, there's an option for them to do it for you. And that's what I did. Now I'm installing the Alpha RT breech. 
It uses an O-ring seal, which I find seals better than the worker breech does. As I mentioned before, I'll be using Jet's plastic bolt sled in order to stress test it, rather than my metal sled. Let's get this shell back together and see how it performs. I decided to do two crony tests. The first one is with the Alpha RT plunger rod, which I had to cut down in order for it to not hit the back of the spring rest and prevent the blaster from catching. Jet's plunger rod uses a thin speed seal o-ring with a taper so that once it starts moving, it slides up the taper to form a seal. Let's test its velocity. Two forty. 199, 204, 206, 184, 194, 202, 196, 199, 195, 212, 186, 198, 199, 169. The 240 is clearly an error, so removing that gives us an average of 195, high of 212, low of 169, and a variation of 43 with the Jet Blaster plunger rod and work a 25 end spring. Now I'll swap to Worker's plunger rod, which comes with the plunger tube. Something I discovered later is that the Alpha RT breech is shorter in length than the Worker one. And to compensate for this, Alpha RT's plunger rod has the catch groove further back. To use the Worker plunger rod with the Alpha RT breech, you'll need to add some padding or fill the front of it with something like go-to glue that I've used here. I only added the go-to glue filling after the crony test. Two oh five, one ninety two, two oh two, two oh seven, two oh three, two oh three, two hundred, two oh one. 206, 200, 202, 205, 207, and 201. This gives us an average of 202, high of 207, low of 192, and variation of 15. It looks like the worker plunger rod works much better than the jet plunger rod in the worker plunger tube. The only issue is you'll probably want to pad the worker plunger head or you'll have to prime it very carefully like I was here for it to catch. Compared to the chrono test in my worker prophecy review, the Alpha RT kit is hitting 6 FPS higher with about the same variation. To be honest though, 6 FPS isn't a lot. And look at all the leftover parts we didn't use that are going to waste. The plunger rod that I cut down for compatibility was actually worse than the worker plunger rod. Though the longer catch area means it didn't require padding. The short aluminium barrel that the Alpha RT comes with just isn't long enough for high powered builds. So I made a brass barrel. The Prophecy kit has its own plunger tube which Monkey Mods will modify the shell to suit. 
The trigger was too short to reach the catch plate and is designed specifically for the cedar. I ended up using the jet catch because the metal worker one has been worn down too much. I also had to cut the jet catch spring shorter by three coils. The 10 kilo cedar spring provided will only get you 150 feet per second, while the prophecy comes with a 14 kilo. The transparent faux barrel would be compatible, but it's not safety orange, so I wouldn't use it. That's a lot of wasted parts, so it makes more economical sense with a prophecy to just use the worker kit, even if it's 6 feet per second slower. However, if you don't currently own a Prophecy Retaliator or Cedar, and want a recommendation on which one to get, I've been seeing the best performance with the Alpha RT in Cedar. With Jet's 14 kilo spring in Cedar, and a custom brass barrel that you could either make or buy one from Spectre, Cedar's velocities are 14 FPS higher than the Prophecy with a 25N. There's one more thing I have to mention though. Worker's power kit can handle higher spring loads than the 14 kilo 25N I've been using today. I think the strongest one is sold by Blaster Tech. However, Jet will be releasing an all metal Omega RT kit for the Cedar, which I'm very excited for. If the Alpha RT kit in a Cedar is beating the worker power kit in a Prophecy by 14 FPS average, both at 14 kilos, I wonder how the Omega RT kit will perform at 20 kilos or even higher with a spring stacking combination. Only time will tell. Which drop in kit do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, thanks for watching.